You may have noticed that my tattle looks a little bit different at the moment. I've been set a task for episode three of the mission by the lovely people at Matrix for me to come along here to the wonderful Lindholm Lakes and I have been instructed that I've got to fish left-handed. It's not something I've really given much thought to, to be honest, until now when I've started putting the handles on the reels the wrong way around and that sort of thing that you realise how much um, I'm going to be out of the comfort zone for this session. But there's plenty of fish here, we know it's a fantastic fishery, so I'm going to show you the kit and talk you through the approach that we're going to be using today and hopefully we're going to catch a few fish. Wrong, that's wrong. I'm all set up. It took a little bit longer than normal and everything just looks wrong, but there we go. That's what we're faced with today. I'm going to start on the method feeder. I've got a 32 gram open method feeder and I'm going to start out there casting or trying to cast close to that island that's out there. I'd say that's about 35, 40 meters away, something like that, but it's clipped up just in front of the island. I'm then going to ping some pellets just to the right to the point of this island whilst I'm fishing the method and hopefully just kind of build that up for a little bit for the second part of the session. So I'm gonna kick off on the method feeder. I'm gonna keep it really nice and simple. So I'm just gonna kick off with a six mil fishery pellet. There is a fishery pellet rule here. So we're gonna kick off with a six mil hard fishery pellet. Just use the banding tool to get that on there, which makes it nice and easy. Okay, it's a free running feeder. Okay, and I'm just gonna put in the feeder just micro fishery pellets so i'm just going to pop a few in there and just see how it goes we haven't fed anything out there as you can imagine we haven't pre-baited in any way so i'm just going to pop the pellet in there and then look forward to the first cast which i'm sure is going to be interesting whatever happens so it's not very deep out there so i'm not going to pack those on too tight there are fish cruising about everywhere i fully expect to get liners and things but the initial thing is to get the feeder out there so Let's give it a go. I can't help but I keep going and doing that automatically and then you realise there's no handle there. So here we go. Let's see what this is going to be like. This is so strange. So you're going to have to bear with me on this one. This is the first time with, <laughs> with, an, with a full feeder. So let's see how we go. Oh, that's gone better than I thought. Oh, just short of the island, but it's out there. Reasonably straight. I've got to switch hands. I don't know why, but when you do it, you just automatically put the rod into your, into your right hand. I've hit the clip a little bit too hard there. So the feeder is just, well, there's a big bend in the tip. So I'm gonna cheat. I don't wanna move the feeder. So I'm gonna move the feeder arm. There we go, that's all right. Look at that. I don't know if that was luck. That might have been, we're gonna find out over the next few casts, aren't we? But that's set all right, I think. I think we're gonna get some liners. I'm right on the clip though, I will admit, a proper school by error there. I'm going to tighten the drag up so that if I do have to take that clip off, at least I know it's exactly there where I can reach it with my left hand or my right hand. But that's all right, I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to give out a few minutes, just see what happens. I think we're going to get liners and all I'm going to do then is ping some pellets to the point of that island. Doing it left-handed, left-handed as you can see. These are just six mil fishery pellets, hard. They've not been soaked in any way. And I'm gonna try and ping them to the point of that island there. There are bubbles coming up everywhere, so I don't know if, I don't know if they're skimmers or carp or what they are. So we might see some bubbles appearing on that line, but, and the other thing is I don't wanna feed it too often because I don't want the fish up in the water. because I'm gonna be casting a bomb on that line. So I'm gonna try and feed it a bit feast and famine kind of thing, just to try and keep them down on the deck. Well, the catapulting's not too bad left-handed anyway. So that bit's not too bad. And we'll find out about the uh, casting the method out as we go. Just had a little indication there, but there are that many fish moving out there that I think we're gonna be getting liners. So I'm just gonna put one more lot of pellets in. And then I'm gonna leave that. Now, it could be a bit better, but there we go. 
So I'm only going to feed that every five minutes or so because I want the fish down on the deck. But hopefully we're going to catch something on this first. Getting one or two little indications there now. That could be a small fish. I'm not going to pick up. There we go. I'm sure that's on. Let's have him. Left-handed. <laughs> Oh, I'll be absolutely honest, I've no idea if that, it is, it's a small fish. I think this has been nice to me, it's been kind. My first ever fish left-handed and it's a small fish. I don't know what it is, I don't know what's in here. I don't know if there are skimmers and things, but oh, this is far from a, a smooth playing action, but there we go. And then I'm going to have to try and net him with my right hand. So let's have a look at him. Skimmer, yep, there we go. I think this is a nice induction fish, this one. There we go. Right then. That's a fish, first cast. It's only been out there about eight, eight minutes or so. Let's have a look. I've still got to reach for him with my, right, with my left hand though. That bit's, there we go. <laughs> Let's hold him up for you so we can see the rig. Still got a few bumps on him. Obviously it's time of year and maybe the spawning. All finishing off. See the pellet hanging out of his mouth at this side. There we go just in the corner of his mouth, but that's it, great, first fish. I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll put him in the net left hand, or the other way around then, there we go. So I'll take the hook out with my left hand, and the fish in the net in my right hand, there we go. We're off the bark. <laughs> oh look, I'm getting tangles a lot around the tip here. <laughs> oh dear, there we go. I'm glad this is not a race. Speed fishing, speed fishing left-handed. Oh dear. <laughs> there we go, I think we've got it, that's it. Okay, all right, let's have another go. Let's see how lucky that first cast was. We'll find out if it was luck. I'm gonna change that pellet though, I'm gonna put a fresh pellet on. Like I said, that was out there about eight minutes, so that's not too bad at all. Had a few indications, but there are that many fish cruising about out there, we're gonna get line bites, I'm sure. Okay, so let's get this on. Six mil fish repellent again. <laughs> Just the same again, a few pellets in the feeder and see how, how close we can get to that first cast again this time around. Right then. Right, this is big, you've really got to think about this. Well, I've done it again, I've gone round to the right, so that needs to be in my left hand. <laughs> a bit of a drop there. <clears throat> this is the bit that takes a bit of thinking about. So the bail I'm over with the... Oh, there we go. I think we're there. I think we're there. Then I've really got to think about this now. So I'll go over my left shoulder and see what happens. Oh, it's gone again. That's better than I thought. Bit of a... Oh, I've hit that clip too short then. I've... <laughs> Let's fish it out. Let's fish it out. Let's get the line down. That's probably a good, it's a good two metres off that island. But let's fish it out, let's fish it out. It did hit the clip, but I've just hit it a little bit too hard. So it's bounced back a little bit. This is the kind of session I'm likely to stay on afterwards just to get this right, or try and get it right, I know. But let's see if we can get a fishing down that slope away from that island. I want to give it a few minutes. Put that back there. There's so many things you do without even thinking about it. But I'm having to think about it now. Just like put your net back and if you do put the back wind on the reel when you're unlocking fish, sometimes you have to do that. And then just remembering to put it back on, you just do it automatically. There we go. That's set now anyway. I'm not right on the clip like last time, but like I said, I'm about two meters off that island. Get some pellets put in. Well, there we go, there's an indication straight away there. Bring some more pellets out there. No signs or any bubbles or anything coming up out there at the minute, but like I said, I'm gonna feed that feast and famine. So I'll put two pouches in like that and then leave it. That's all right, it's working at the minute. One fish, one cast. See if we can get one on this cast. That's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad the feeder's going out there and it's hitting the clips because now 
Now, hopefully, I've just got to try and control it now when it goes in. I don't feel anything. I don't think he's there. No, that can't be on. I just pulled across a fish on the way in. I can't believe that wasn't on. But anyway, I wasn't that happy with that cast anyway, so at least we, <laughs> at least we had a pull on it anyway. Trying to catch it with my right hand is a different ball game as well. So let's get back out. Let's see if we can get near that island this time. Just sticking with the pellet at the minute. Like I say, I'm still feeding that, that line next to the island. Stick to pellet. I've got some other choices of baits. I've got some dead reds on my tray as well, which I can switch to. Look, I've done it again. Automatically switch around to that hand. Let's do it that way. Right then. Here we go. It's a 32 gram feed of this, so it should load the rod really nice. I shouldn't have to push it, but everything's really strange. There we go. Let's try it that, this way. Right, let's have another crack at it. I know I can hit the clip, but let's see if I can hit it a little bit uh, with a bit more control this time. There we go. Let's try and catch it. Oh, that's better. But look, <laughs> I've automatically gone to the left when I should have gone to the right but I think I've caught it just right that one or as right as it's going to be at the minute oh look at all this faffing about I'm doing here but that's all right that's all right I caught it all right that time automatically went down to the right hand side I always fish that way with a feeder always it's just natural there we go that's set all right I'm quite happy with that one the line's settling this line is six pound horizon that's all I'm using on my reels now I've been getting asked a lot about that recently Six pound horizon. The only time I step that up is if, if I was fishing near snags or reeds or whatever, then I might step up to eight or ten pound, as you'd expect, because it's stronger for any fish that might bolt through those sorts of snags and stuff. But when it's open water like this, and even just bomb fishing as well, just six pound horizon does everything I need. And it's just nice. There's a bit of stretch in it, but it's not too stretchy. It feels quite a supple line. But it's amazing. And people ask me all the time about it and I very rarely have to change it, it's great. So that's all I'm using now and that's sinking all right now. It's not very deep out there as you can imagine but that's sunk now nicely now. That's all set. Pleased with that one. There we go, that's got to be on, let's have him. Nice drop back. Nothing there? Nothing there. That was a pull and a, and a drop back. Like I say, I wasn't sure if we were going to be getting line bites out there, which might dislodge that feeder, but I'm sure there was a fish around that then. Let's see if we can catch this with my right hand. There we go. Well, the bait's still on and everything, so let's get it back out there. I'm not going to change anything at the minute. Just gone two casts without a fish, we're not happy with that, are we? Let's see if we can get one this time and see if we can land it near that island. Here we go. Right, let's see if we can have another go at this. <laughs> I'm glad we haven't got to fish much further than this distance wise. And we're not fighting the conditions, which is good. Right, here we go. Let's have another go. I'm not happy with that. <laughs> right, let's see if we can get near that island. Yep, that's gone a little bit harder this time, slightly to the to the right, caught it again to the right, hitting the clip all right, but that one went off to the right a little bit. So again, that's a probably about a metre and a half, I'd say, away from the island, but we're going to fish it out. Well, we're not fishing on a sixpence anyway, so that's, that's not an issue today. That's not a problem. Just got a fish rise there on the pellet line. I'm going to keep that fed. I think that's set all right now, that feeder. I didn't have to move it. It has hit the clip, but like I say, it's just slightly to the right. So it's about a metre and a half off that island, maybe a bit more. But I'm confident we'll get a pull there. I'll keep these pellets going in. Try and get them inaccurate. I'm sure that'd help. There we go. So we've had a fish on first cast, two pulls on the second, uh, well, two pulls on the second and third casts. No fish though, so we've got to get one on this cast. I'm going to sit on my hands with this one and make sure it's on. Well, even though that wasn't quite right up to the island, it's gone round. I've got to admit, from the actual bite itself, 
I thought it was going to be another skimmer. And whilst it isn't pulling the rod in, it's, in fact, it's come right to the top out there. Look at that, it's come right to the surface and it's, it is a better fish. I'm guessing it's going to be a carp. But it's amazing how you, the feeling of playing a fish like this, it's just so strange, you know, you've just, you would have thought you would have at least had as much sensitivity, just like you would playing with your, your normal, you know, if you're right-handed, it's just really quite strange. I'll play him low down. No shot leader on anything today, so I'm sure we can still tell when it comes up nice and close to us. And I can't really tell how big it is. Oh, it's all right. It might, it might be more of a pretty fish than a big fish by the looks of it. It looks like it's a bit of a different colored fish. This is a carp. Oh yeah, look at him. Beautiful, Gordon Pond fish. He's been very obliging, I've got to admit. There we go, we've got one. <laughs> well, look at that for a beautiful fish. Bigger than I thought as well. He's not really given a, a massive account of it for himself. This is where I'm having to put the back wind on with the wrong hand and, oh, mate, what's happening here? <laughs> but what a great looking fish, look at that. I'll keep him at this side. I'll keep him in true fashion, true, true, uh, true, true to the mission. I'll keep him on this side without trying to wipe my bait tray out. There we go. He's suddenly got lively now. If he'd done that out there, he might not be here, but he's got a really big mouth. Look at that for a beautiful fish. I'll leave the rig in place so you can see where he's hooked. There we go. Look at that for a stunning fish. Beautiful. Size of his mouth. Beautiful fish. He's suddenly got energy now. So he's obviously saved it for when he got in the net. Oh, this has all gone to pot. This is not a race, is it? There we go, we've done it. I think I'm right round the tip again. That's obviously an issue. Um, but there we go, fantastic fish. Good to know that there are some out there. told Jamie that I've got to go and make a phone call. He thinks he's doing a fantastic job. Here he is in the background, I see him playing a skimmer. He thinks he's doing a great job fishing left-handed, but I'm gonna throw a little curveball in. I've been, uh, been having a little look through his bait bag and I've spotted a few different baits in here. We've got some hook baits, some worms. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make him fish and catch a fish on maggots, on pellets, on worms, and on a pot of choice of his hook bait. So, let's see, uh, see what we can do. Let's go and break the news to him, tell him that he's not doing uh, as well as he first thought. All right, Jay, just uh, been going through your bait bag. All oh, right, I've yeah, been right, uh, okay then. <laughs> right. Found some other bits in there. So, yes. uh, what I've decided, uh, instead of just fishing left handed, what I'm going to make you do. Oh, just, what do you mean, just? Right, okay. I'm going to, uh, yeah, yeah. you've got to catch a fish on one of these pots of hook baits, right. some worms. <laughs> right, okay. And what else have we got down here? We got some maggots. And some pellets. So you've got to catch a, bit, a fish on four different baits. Four different baits? Yeah. Right. So does the pellet count? I've already caught on pellet. Does that count? I'll, let, I'll give you that one. No, you've got to catch one more on your pellet. <laughs> one more on your pellet. All right. And, and we'll go from there. So in here, so it's something out of here. Something out of that so pot. So it's a wafter yeah. or a, a boilie or whatever. You get one of your choice. Some, wor more some worms. Some worms. Well. Pellets and some dead maggots. <laughs> right, okay, Good luck. Yeah, thanks mate. <laughs> I reckon that's on. I'm gonna make sure, I'll make sure. That's gotta be a skimmer that. Twitching away like that. I'm gonna have him, I'm gonna have him. Is it on? I think it's on. I can hardly tell. It's only a small fish if it is. 
I think we've got something. Probably the smallest fish of the day, but it's on pellet, so that's going to be, if I land it, that's going to be one of the baits ticked off. Got to be a skimmer, this one. There we go, smallest of the day. But very welcome. Yes, that's the pellet fish out of the way. What's next? Do I get to choose what's next? Yeah. Look how brown that is. Look how brown that is, and it's got no eye. <laughs> there we go. Pellet fish, gone. Can take that one off, boss. What are you going for next? I don't know. I bet it's my choice. Yeah, your choice. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut the band off. Right. And I'm going to put three dead reds on. And just hook them normally. So let's see if that, see what that brings. Cut that off there. Let's put three reds on. That's it, three reds. Oh dear. I'll just about get used to this and I'll have to go back to fishing the other way, won't I? <laughs> there we go. Let's see if we can catch on these then. I want to stop on this. We're seeing signs of some fish on that bomb line now. That loose fed bomb line. So I'm confident we're going to, there's some, well, we know there's fish there. Look at that. Three reds just like that pressed into the feeder. Lovely. Let's see if we can get one on this. You'd expect to catch on these, wouldn't you? Especially if there's skimmers out there as well, but you never know. Oh dear, getting used to this again now. We'll try it that way. I'm ready to go, let's launch this one out there. Oh, there we go, try and catch it. That's it. Still going over to the, to the right, out of habit. Put that back. Get that down on the rest. Beautiful. Just got a turn or two on it on the clip. Not that we've had to uh, unclip yet, but it's there if we uh, need to. Right then, that's it. Let's feed this line now. Let's see how many fish are going to go for these pellets now when I lose feed. I'm not going to feed quite as many this time, but watch this. There we go. <laughs> Do you think there's one or two there? I've just cut back slightly on the pellets because I've been feeding loads and just cut back a little bit as we are getting ready to go on it. You know, build it up and then hopefully when we go on it, we're not starving them onto the hook, but we're just not giving them as many options, but I want to keep putting them in to keep them there. But first we've got to catch on this. A better fish anyway. First one, three maggots. You probably wouldn't believe this, but the first cast we never got a fish on three reds. But when we came in, there weren't any on. So whether they'd been, the, the tip kept moving, but I don't, I'm not even gonna count that cast. Now this one has just kited and it snagged me up. It's kited around to the right. Oh, it's right over my bomb line. Oh, it's gone free. That was right where I'm going to be dropping the bomb shortly and that snagged me up there, so there is something there. Even though there's plenty of fish there, that definitely locked up on something. This is just so weird playing it this way. But anyway, let's see if we can get him in. Let's make sure we land him, because that'll be two baits ticked off then. I'm guessing this might be an F1. Three red maggots on a 14. Yeah, looks like an F1. Come on, little fella, let's have you. He is a little in as well. There we go, brilliant. Two out of four, boss. <laughs> That's maggots off the list. And the hooks come out in the net even better. That's when it's really going for you. There we go. Scrappy little fish. That's it. We're halfway there. <laughs> Well, that's two baits ticked off. <laughs> I can't resist it any longer. I really want to have a look on this bomb line that we've been loose feeding. We've seen signs of fish there. We know there are fish there waiting for the loose feed. However, I've caught on pellet already. 
out there on the method. I've caught a maggot out there as well on the method. So I can't really use a pellet on the line where I've been feeding pellets. So with that in mind, because I didn't know what was going to be happening, I've got a band already on this rig. So I'm going to kick off with a wafter on a band and then hopefully we're going to catch on that and then I can cut the band off and switch to worm and try and catch one on worm. So I've switched from the 11 foot um, commercial feeder rod now, I've switched to the 10 foot version now. So this is going to be a little bit different casting. I've just got a 20 gram inline bomb on that and a 20 centimeter hook length. It's a size 14 hook and I've got a band on there. So I'm going to kick off with that, a nice bright, um, bright wafter on and hopefully we're going to snare a fish pretty quickly. So the rod and everything's at a slightly different angle, but let's just get this out there and see if we can catch one on a wafter. This is going to be different because it's just such a short cast. Oh no, I'm not having that, not having that. That's not having that. I was short a drop this time. I want this first one to be bang on. Let's have another crack at it. Oh dear. I'm not doing it. I'm not, I'm not having it. I'm not sitting on a bad cast. <laughs> Look at a fish just turn there where that bomb's just gone in. Third time lucky. I just want it online with that island. I don't want to really go past that. Not at this stage anyway, but there we go. That's better. Oh, just stopped it with my left finger. Right. Okay. Then let's get that there. I'm leaving that there. I'm sure we're going to get some line bites. I'm just going to adjust the rest down a little bit because this is a shorter rod, just so it's nice and neat. I've got a decent angle on the tip there. It's an inline bomb, this one, 20 centimetre up length, so I'm sure the bites, oh well, they'll be on, I should imagine. They could be a little bit uh, quick and a little bit vicious. I'm going to ping a few pellets over the top there. There we go. Little indications there. We're going to be getting indications whether they want a wafter or not because there are fish there. They are up in the water. But I'm sure we'll snare one on a wafter. There we go. We're all set. I'm not going to feed that method feeder line now. It's just focusing on trying to catch a fish on these other two baits now. It's not too deep just there, but like I said, the fish are on the top. Our bomb's obviously down on the bottom, so I'm hoping they're still going to want to feed on a bait that's on the deck. There we go, getting little indications now. I'm not even going to pick up on any of them, just like on a method feeder, exactly the same principle. Just wait till the tip goes and they're on. There we go, that's got to be on. Oh, 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 there we go. I've got to get over to the left, that's it. <laughs> just got the drag set a little bit on that, on this line, because I expect the bites to be a little bit hectic at this shorter range. Well, that's good anyway. We didn't get a sign on that brightly colored one. We just switched to a white eight mil wafter. These are all sorts of wafters. Just like a dumbbell one, just on a band size 14. And well, there was no mistake in that it was on. I'm guessing they're F1s that's there. And it looks like that's what this is. Let's get him in the net. There we go. Oh no, no, it's not an F1. There we go. Got him. Bigger fish than what I thought. That I thought it was only going to be a pound and a half, two pounder, but he's bigger than that. Look at that. Beautiful fish, that one. And the hook's come out in the net again. Saves me having to unhook him. Let's just hold him up for you. Let's do it at this side. Do it in true left handed fashion. Still got quite a bit of energy left in him, so I'll see if we can hold him for you. <laughs> There we go, that's number three bait ticked off. That's the uh, the wafter off the list. So now we're gonna try and catch on a worm. Right, so all we're going to do now is, now we've caught on the wafter, I'm just simply going to cut that off. So we're left with just a nice hook there, size 14. And all I'm going to do is hook a worm on. Okay, I'm going to nip its head off, just so it hooks. 
it should look all right. Bit of juice coming out. I'm going to push the hook down a little bit and round, and I'm going to leave it whole just to see see if we can nick a greedy fish. It's like when you go on holiday and you've got to drive on the left-hand side. You know, when you for the first time when you've done it in a car or a high car, you're trying to change gear and everything the other way around. Except this is a little bit less dangerous, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah. A bad cast on here is not quite as bad as uh, what could happen there. Lovely coloured fish, great condition. Pop him in, and then I'll have to untangle the rod now. <laughs> Oh, mate, going back to school, back to school. Look, the catapult's been knocked in as well. Oh, it's all going apart here. <laughs> look, I've, look I've automatically switched the rod to my right hand now. Now it's wrapped round. Oh, mate. <laughs> stick with it, got to stick with it. At least you can reach. Can I swear if it's a bad cast? <laughs> right then. Discord your job. Oh, it draws at wrong side. What's going on? <laughs> when you pick up, you can't feel anything. I just haven't got a clue whether it's on or not. I'm going to do it the other way. I've got to do it the other way. That's the way I normally do it. Is it? Yeah, so I've got to do it that way. Pick it up with that hand. Left-handed there. Left-handed. That's how I normally do it. Well, that nearly ripped the rod off the rest. <laughs> Finally got one on the worm. It's taken... I it must have taken 10 casts, I've got to openly admit. I just decided to have a cast past my feed. It looks like it's an F1, I think. But I just went about a meet, two metres past the actual feed towards that bush. Yeah, it's an F1, I think. And it's been in about three or four minutes and it just nearly, well, it's a good job we've got a, a feeder rest like this, because obviously, otherwise I might have lost the rod, but there we go. There we go. That's the worm fish, a whole dendra on a 14. Like I say, it's a 20 centimetre hook lens, so it's quite a positive way of fishing, really. And has the hook come out in the net? It has. It's just for it come out. I don't know if it's a one-handed fish, this one. Let's have a look. It's a bit chunky, still fighting. There we go. So that's the worm fish. <laughs> Is that mission accomplished, boss? No, I'm going to throw another curveball <laughs> in now. Right, okay then, right. You well, caught... <laughs> Bait, All right, okay. So, yeah. You've got to catch a carp on a pellet. Carp on a pellet, not an F1 on a pellet, a carp, carp on a pellet. Carp, carp or an F1 on a pellet. And as, as it, as it skimmer. and that cannot be on the bomb line or the method line, or is it up to me? You can choose whichever one you want. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to stick well, with. Then, you've still got the mission. <laughs> <laughs> you've been working with Craig Butterfield too long doing this. You know that, don't you? All right, mate, I'm going to get another hook length on, one with a band on again, because obviously I've took the band off, and I'm going to try and catch on a six mil pellet over that loose fed pellet line. <laughs> oh. That's got to get a fish, that. Could have been a bit tighter to the island, but indications straight away. Get some pellets in. Oops, that's gone the other way, that one. Oh, there we go, that's got to be on. Got to be. Ah, oh, he's off. <laughs> it's suddenly powered to the left. I reckon that might have been a liner. That's what I'm saying. Let's just check that pellet. Yeah, that's okay. That was only in about a minute. I've just fed with the catapult, so this is going to go in right amongst them. See if we can get it a bit closer to the island. 
oops that's gone a bit too far that i don't want it as far over as that let's leave it that's in the feed area now let's try that indication straight away but that's right where we lose feeding i want to feed again but i'm not going to at the minute i want them to go down for that one pellet that we've got on and if i don't feed that might just encourage them to go down and just have a quick look there we go <laughs> i think that's on <laughs> there we go yeah we've hooked him anyway just got the drag set slightly it's like i say they can be a little bit ferocious the takes i don't think we could call them bites can we takes at short range like that on this kind of gear let's have a look what he is we thought this would be the quick oh, it's a little f1 we thought this would be the quickest one to catch on there we go come on i'm waiting for it what's the next one come on are you going to change the rules again <laughs> well that is the smallest one of the day we thought that would be the quickest one to be fair didn't we because we've been loose feeding pellet on that line look at that beautiful looking fish let me do it with that right hand let's do it the other way let's do it that way gorgeous condition fish that look at that one what a beauty the pellets come off the band but there we go lovely condition that one didn't have to wait long for that one let's pop him in the net with the others fantastic is that mission accomplished now yeah all right then. <laughs> top job mate it's full of fish out there i think i can have a bit longer i'm getting into this left-handed casting now <laughs> let's see if we can catch another one Well, what a fantastic session. It's a red hot sunny day. We brought the fish over here into the shade. Um, it's been a brilliant session, especially to say that we've done everything the wrong way around, left-handed. Very interesting session. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And there are gonna be more, more missions for other anglers in this series. So if you don't wanna miss out on those, please hit subscribe. Thanks for watching. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.